force the incompletion on first down, then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback on the expected passing situation. To throw on third down. Stanton, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. J.J. Watt in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. And that's his third sack, and that ties a Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy, three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. We're in the golden high tops as well. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 11 yards there and a line first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. A 21-yard touchdown run. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. Offensive line coaches always tell their guys, if we score touchdowns, that means we get to the end zone first. That's exactly what those blockers did, clearing the way for their back. Crater on to add the extra point. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And solid field position here to start as they get it out to the 40-yard line. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. For the Browns, good starting field position as they have it first and 10 at the 40. They run the counter. Hilliard, and if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. On the run, this is Hilliard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. The Browns up. Third down, not good, 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 11. From the gun, Stanton. Able to find Harris, complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun, Stanton, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung. 30, 20, 10, and he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys are picking it off. They're not saying that. What word are they using? It's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. 
After the interception, here's Watson. And boy, talk about adding insult to injury. He's into the end zone to tack on two more. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. It hasn't been his day. It hasn't been their day to this point, but... You know, some kudos to this crowd. This is not an easy environment to play in. And they have to be really excited because they feel like they're having an impact on the game. The visiting quarterback not playing very well. Their team not doing well. They're helping their home team out. Now, if you're that quarterback, though, you got to find a way to hurt that crowd. And the only way to do that, make good plays and try and calm them down. I'm sure he's thinking it starts right here on this drive. To throw again on second down. Stanton. And he'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. The Browns on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. From the gun. Stanton. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And into the end zone, a scoop and score on the fumble return for the Detroit touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five.
five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Prater for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And I, I never played quarterback, but I'm thinking as a quarterback, you're a little bit into the game now, second quarter, you're losing, you're not playing well, probably feels like a lot of weight on your shoulders. Certainly does, but it's something that quarterbacks have to be used to because they're always carrying around that weight. So how do they adjust the weight? How do they make it work for them? How do they work against it? That's what we're going to find out going forward. Yeah, he'll be trying to get all that weight off his shoulders here on this drive. Ready, ready. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Go, go, go. Shoot. To throw again. Stanton, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity missed. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Here's Jamie Gillendale as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Oh, heavy lion pressure here, and they block it. There he goes, left side, and he will score. Touchdown, Lions, as his guys are in for six, as his guys continue to pour it on. Partners, you well know every block punt wasn't necessarily a called block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block. Able to get the pressure, get a paw on it, knock it down, and then go and grab it and take it into the end zone. What a play. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And solid field position here to start as they get it out to the 40-yard line. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. They've been faced with a tough test today here. Crowd's been really good. They're struggling. He's struggling. We'll see if they can pick things up. And the crowd has had an impact, and they feel good about that because he's not playing very well, not getting the ball to the right places, not doing the things he normally does. He's got to find a way to turn it around against this hostile group. Yeah, because on the road, don't you look to your quarterback a lot? You have to because you certainly can't look to the crowd to help you. They're there to be against you, so your quarterback has to lead you, and the best way he can do it is to play well. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Two minutes even on the clock in the first half of Super Bowl 54. On the double. A reminder coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's good play. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. The screen gets seven, but it's not enough. And it'll be fourth down. He dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. And yeah, that'll hit and go out of bounds, so they'll start just outside their own 40-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 43. And an alley to run! A big seam, and he might go all the way. Touchdown, Detroit! Alvin Kamara, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl, as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. 
And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. The Browns drive about to get started. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on yeah, the field a lot position. more than normal. Put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Throwing again on second and ten. Stanton. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Operating from the gun. Stanton. And that is incomplete. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And they'll be set up with great field position as this is going to be touchdown right at the 40-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. Watson on first down, rolling to his right. He's going to take off with it. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. They're just bowling over tacklers. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Alvin Kamara in the final seconds of the first half as his guys continue to pour it on. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff, because you don't want... Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. That is caught inside the five. And he is into the end zone. So they get two more on the board here just before halftime. Partner, they're up big. They snapped the ball from the 15 for a regular PAT. Yet they fake it and get it. Is the kicker's leg tired? Whoa, what's going on here? I don't know, but defensively, now with this deficit, now you had two more on to that. They fake the PAT. That stings a little. It definitely stings, and I know the guys that I played for, they wouldn't be as mad at the opposition as they would have been at us for allowing that to happen. A final shot before break. Stanton, he's going to float this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. For the never-tedious halftime show behind us, and now it's back to football as we get going again in Super Bowl 54. So a very short kick here. This will be taken by one of the up men. And a pretty slick return there as he's up just shy of the 45-yard line. Any return...
Throwing now, Watson. He'll buy some time right. And now he's going to use his legs. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And the Lions, yes, the Detroit Lions have won the Super Bowl. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.